Hello, in this Java programming video, we are going to look at the multi catch block. So, the multi catch block is very similar to what we covered in the simple example video in exceptions. If you haven't checked that out, feel free to take a look at that tutorial. Once you've done that, feel free to pop back. Okay, so we've got this try catch block, tries a bit of code, tries to catch a particular exception. Multi catch block, it can handle multiple catches or you know, multiple different exceptions. Because the exception we have here is array index out of bounds exception. So when you have an invalid index that you're trying to refer to. But if, for example, I did, so if I comment this out and I did something like, I press a new variable and it doesn't have to be in relation to the array at all. So you'll see this is pretty cool. We'll do and divide by zero, for example. And as you can see, it's thrown an error, it's division by zero. And it's also given us the exception right here. So what we can do is do catch. This one will just handle stuff like division by zero, it's other arithmetic problems as well. But the main one that this is useful for is, you know, division by zero. So arithmetic exception. So if you're wondering how I'm getting that autocomplete, if you press control and space, you'll either come up like so, but if you type enough like arithmetic, there's only, there's only the one anyway. So, that, so that's how I'm doing it if you was wondering. And I'm gonna do system dot out dot print ln. I'm gonna print error, but I'm also gonna do system dot out dot print ln. And I'm gonna write something else in here. I'm gonna say math error. And here on the system dot out dot pointer then. And I'm gonna say here, not math error, I'll say array index error. So this is my own custom error. So you can see that it is going into the right catch block. So it's going to the right catch block. You know, it's printed out this problem, which is the, you know, the default error. Our print, and it's got to the end as well. If I were to on comment this out it prints out array index error because it's out of bounds so that's something to bear in mind so if it hits a, a problem uh, an error you'll go to that catch block and it won't run the rest of the code in the try block so the assumption is the rest of the code should be dependent on you know the previous line of code in the try block and therefore if something goes wrong with one of those lines and you catch the exception and handle it accordingly, you shouldn't run the rest of the code, or you handle it and run it maybe within the catch block. But that's it for multiple catch blocks. If you wanna add more, the process is exactly the same. Thanks for watching. All of the code from this video and all of the other videos in this series will be on GitHub, and a link to that will be with this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and I look forward to seeing you in the next awesome Java video.